Federal transportation officials in the U.S. are searching the contents of a train data recorder tonight, trying to piece together the cause of a derailment that killed at least seven people last night, critically injuring eight others. Amtrak train 188 was en route from Washington to New York City, with nearly 250 on board. It stopped at Philadelphia's large 30th Street station. Then, 11 kilometers later, near that city's Port Richmond area. Speed limits there, 112 kilometers per hour, 80 on curves. But as it rounded one of those, it was going twice that, in excess of 160. The engineer hit the emergency brake, but it was too late. The train jumped the track. The CBC's Stephen D'Souza is in Philadelphia with the latest details. Stephen. Peter, why the train was going so fast is one of many questions investigators are asking as they try to figure out what happened. Watch closely in the upper right corner. This surveillance video from a nearby business shows a train speeding past. Then, seconds later, bright flashes. For passengers on board, the violence of the crash came with no warning. All of a sudden, I felt myself fly up in the train, sit back down, move forward, move back, move forward, move back, and there was just a loud, loud crash. More than 200 passengers were taken to hospital. When I started hearing people, I was on the side, and someone told me that I'd been delirious and that they had carried me off. I, the shoes, my shoes, are not my shoes. Somewhere I lost my shoes, and a lady gave me her shoes. That some walked away and more weren't killed in this tangled mess of metal is astonishing. It is an absolute disastrous mess. Uh, never seen anything like this uh, in my life. Among the victims who've been identified, Jim Gaines, a video producer with the Associated Press, and 21-year-old Naval Academy midshipman Justin Zemser. While crews continue to search the wreckage for other victims, investigators recovered the train's event recorder and say a preliminary analysis shows the train was traveling twice the approved limit before derailing. Maximum authorized speed through this curve was 50 miles per hour. When the engineer induced brake application was applied, the train was traveling at approximately 106 miles per hour. Three seconds later, when the data to the recorders terminated, the train speed was 102 miles per hour. Authorities want to talk to that engineer, but so far, he's refused to give a statement. Investigators also point out that a speed control system that could have prevented the train from going that fast isn't installed on this section of track. Had such a system been installed in this section of track, this accident would not have occurred. The NTSB says it's been asking for years to get that system installed, so it's no coincidence it brought up the issue again, knowing that today lawmakers in Congress were debating a $200 million cut to Amtrak's budget. Peter. All right, Stephen, thank you.